During what was the shortest State Board of Education meeting of Superintendent Ryan Walter's tenure, the board either tabled or took no action on much of the agenda. Two News anchor Aaron Christie was there and tells us the reason for that was evident from the get-go. It appears clear the State Board of Education made few decisions during today's board meeting, all because of their ongoing disagreements with Attorney General Gentner Drummond, most recently regarding the Open Meetings Act. The board was scheduled to discuss approving the 2025 Capital Improvements Project, the fate of several teaching certificates and more. But instead, Brad introduced himself. In a last minute force of hand from Attorney General Gentner Drummond, they met Brad Clark, the board's new counsel for now, as of Thursday, after Drummond denied the request to retain previous counsel they wanted, Kara Nicholas. At some point, that contract was um, requested to be renewed, and a decision was made to deny that request. And so that letter was sent yesterday. Questions began firing at Clark over possible conflict of interest. And we've had instances this year where the attorney general's office was taking a position um, that at least made some of us Concern. So with Walters laying the groundwork. If the board doesn't feel um, that they were able to address any kind of legal concerns with board counsel, you know, there's items here that I, I think we could absolutely take no action on. Some run-of-the-mill items were approved, but largely. On 3A, I would probably take no action. If you want to take no action. I'm not comfortable going forward um, on any of the legal services. But I think timing-wise, just I'm, I think we might need to table. I got documents shedding some light. Correspondence shows previous attorney Nicholas clashing with the AG over whether lawmakers could legally attend executive sessions. Nicholas said they should not with the authority not to renew her contract, and in a letter, Drummond told Nicholas she had a, quote, brazen disregard for sound counsel and that they must allow legislators to attend executive sessions. Instead, the board has opted in recent months not to host executive session, an opportunity that could be used to ask counsel questions. In Oklahoma City, Erin Christie, 2 News, Oklahoma.